All right, guys, what's going on? I know it's been a long time, but I think you guys deserve an update. So let's roll the intro. My life be like. and I had my truck. Both of those, th those things were gone. I'll show you what I have now. I got two new vehicles, actually th three. So, I'm gonna show you the one that I'm almost done with. I already did almost all the mods off camera. Uh, I started a new school, I moved, it's, it's been, it's been, there's been a lot of things going on behind the camera that um, I just had to take care, care of. So let me show you guys the project that I've been working on and the one that I'm going to be working on and I'm going to be recording. So let's get to it. A brand new, to me, 1997 Jeep Cherokee XJ. It is a 1997 with 100,000 miles. I literally just hit 100,000 not too long ago. And let me show you what I did to it. When I bought it, it already had the lift, which I believe is a four and a half inch lift with 33s by 12 and a half. First thing that I did when I got this Jeep was I took off the shocks that it had, painted them white, and put red um, dust covers, I guess that's what you call them. Uh, it already came with those fender flares. Um, I put a. It's not an. It's not an air horn, but it's louder. On the other side, what I did, I put new bushings, sway bar bushings. I painted that bar, and that's about it for this side. In the front, you guys can see I have a Rough Country off-road bumper. I got the one with the stinger on it and with the shackle kit. I also have a 9,500-pound winch in the front. Um, I put a cover on it so the sun doesn't eat it up. I bought those LED lights from Amazon. I painted the grill black. I tinted those blinkers. My Jeep um, letters were messed up, so I just took them off and put them, put stickers. Um, they look better, I guess. Those already came with the truck or with the Jeep, but I have to paint them and turn them around. And also, the owner put some kind of tape under it, and that's literally defeating the purpose of them. So I'll show you guys in a second. Jeep Wave. Like I said, this is a 1997. I also put camo seat covers, camo steering wheel cover. So you guys can see, 101,000. When I got it, it had 98,000, almost 99. any gas so on the inside there's not much done it already came with a radio so I just left it like that but I think I'm going to buy the same one that I put on my Miata and my Tacoma in preview in my previous builds because this one doesn't have Bluetooth which I mean it's not you know necess a necessity to have Bluetooth but I just don't like all these fucking cables everywhere I already have my charging cable and having this is just annoying. Um, I have um, a CB radio for when I go trailing, which I'm planning on doing and maybe I'll take you guys with me, I don't know. On the CB I have a PA as well. I have a, a speaker in the front that I'll show you guys and I'll show you how 
um, I wired it and everything. I have my foam on right here, and then this I have because I have a rip. It's ripped, but you can see right there. So this kind of hides it. Um, the floors, the carpet is gone. The guy that had it before me took it off. So as you can see, there's no carpet. So I rhino liner it. It already had rhino liner, but it was like flaking off, so I'd sprayed it on the back. Again, same thing. Those are just my golf clubs. Don't worry about that. Uh, but I put the seat covers. I have the mesh in the back. Um, I put the LED light in the in here. Um, what else? On the outside, I also installed those lights right there and the roof rack. And those are wired to these switches right there. Okay, now let me show you what's under the hood. These came with a four liter in line six, which is a really good motor and uh, apparently it's indestructible. The only thing that I had to buy for under the hood was a brand new coolant cap, that cap right there, that yellow cap, and a new battery. When I installed those lights up there, I guess my new battery took a shit, or my old battery took a shit, so I had to buy a new one. It runs pretty good, um, no complaints, no overheating. It's When I bought it, it was running at 210. Now it's running a little bit hotter, and I think it is because my coolant, I need to flush it. So I'm gonna be doing that soon. Um, that's my CB antenna, right there. And then, when I was looking at bumpers, I wanted a spare tire holder but I didn't want to pay the six, seven, eight hundred dollars that they cost. So what I did is I built my own. This is a receiver that, that you can buy and what it does, it just, it has for you to tow, but then you can put stuff here and this people use it usually for a cargo rack. So they put a cargo rack, when they use it, they flip it down. So what I did is I just went to my metal store and I bought two by two square tubing. Cut it, welded it, welded some supports here, a plate, and then I bought this light, which is my for my license plate, and just made my own bracket, and that's how I have it. That was around fifty dollars for the entire thing, in comparison of eight hundred dollars, and I still can get in the trunk if I need to. Uh, if you guys want me to make a video about this more in depth I'll make one and show you guys but um, also when I bought it I ran into a problem I had a check engine light and it was for my NSS which is my neutral safety switch it's located I don't think I can show you guys from here but it's on the side it's in the transmission somewhere in there so I had to replace that, which was $40. And then I had to replace also my fuel pump because it was leaking gas. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, the only thing that I wanna do, that I have left to do is rock sliders right there. And I'm thinking about two more inches of lift. I don't know, because if I go two more inches, then I have to buy uh, lower and upper control arms, um, adjustable track bar, the spacers that go between the coil and the actual uh, Jeep. So it comes out to uh, extend the brake lines in the front. So it comes out to about like $500, $600 for only two more inches. So I don't know if I'll do it maybe in the future, but this is going to be a car or a Jeep that I'm going to be keeping for a while. Also in the front, I upgraded the steering stabilizer as you can see right there it's a uh, rough country and I just put a red boot um, on it just to give it a little bit color um, also what I'm gonna be doing is front and rear differential fluid change whatever you want to call it so I'll be doing those as well uh, also when I got it it had a hole 
right here these Jeeps are notorious for overheating and rust the only rust, rust spot that I had was here as you can see I bondoed it and then just uh, rhino liner on top of it um, I think it came out okay it's not perfect but it works next let's go to the trunk and I'll show you guys what I did in the trunk and this is how you lower it um, I bought one of these from Amazon it was like seven dollars and it has a lock and you just take it off and let it you know you don't let it just slam down but you gotta grab it um, also I need to be changing that the only reason why I haven't painted this is because it's cracked and it's missing a piece right there so I'm just gonna replace it and that is my setup for the rear I have a light right there I have my fire extinguisher my towing lights or hookup whatever it's called and then I, I built this that my idea for building this was to be able to have my stuff organized and not just have because what I bought is this it's like a like a big box that they sell at Walmart so I just had that but then it took all my space in the trunk so I built this to have all my tools and stuff organized and my recovery stuff organized and I also can put stuff on top of it the only thing that I regret not doing on this is putting glue under it because see how like it comes up and down but whatever and here I just have you know my cable some tools in the back and just random stuff and they have some recovery straps blanket whatever and then here I put a 12 volt um, plug so when I whenever I go to the beach and take the jet ski out and we want to use our tube I can just fill it up from back here instead of going all the way to the front also I put those hooks there uh, they went in the front but I, when I replaced the bumper I just took them off and put it in the back this is how I wired my CB antenna it goes all the way to the front but yeah guys this is a walk around of my 1997 Jeep XJ if you guys want to know more of how I did anything or if you guys want to see more videos of this thing let me know and I will make them and um, I will keep you guys updated with anything else that I do to it um, I'm getting back to YouTube I need to start doing it I love it and I love sharing the knowledge on building cars and other things so if you guys liked it give it a like if you guys didn't like it give it a dislike but let me know why so I can improve. Ride safe, and I will see you guys on the next one. This is a sneak peek of the next project. So stay around, and you will see what's coming for this.